Euromonitor catheter-free wireless ambulatory cystometry is feasible, safe, and well-tolerated. Samir Dariusavi Fard, Steve Majeris, Margot Damaser, and Howard B. Goldman. Eurodynamics is the long-standing gold standard diagnostic test to assess the mechanics of the lower urinary tract. However, it has several pitfalls, including that it is a non-physiologic test performed in an artificial setting that in many instances fails to replicate the symptoms that concern patients. As such, the data it provides at times is limited, and because it requires lower urinary tract manipulation, poses an infection risk. Improvements to the current options are needed. We have developed the Euromonitor, as seen here, that is an implantable bladder device. The Euromonitor uses low-power, flexible electronics housed in a medical silicone housing, which curls into a pigtail shape after insertion to remain in the bladder. It wirelessly transmits vesicle pressure data at 10 Hz to a small pager-like radio receiver taped to the subject's abdomen. The radio receiver stores the data on a microsecure digital memory card and simultaneously transmits it wirelessly to a nearby laptop using Bluetooth. This is a proof-of-concept pilot study involving 11 patients when complete. It includes women over 18 years of age with a new diagnosis of OAB. Exclusion criteria include an active UTI, hematuria, and other structural neurologic or pain conditions as listed that may complicate our findings. We aim to assess the accuracy of Euromonitor pressure data by comparing the pressure tracings of the two sources. Once data collection is complete, a root mean squared difference and attenuation factor will quantify this relationship. Adverse events will be monitored with urine culture and heavy metal assays and reported via the Clavian Dindo scoring system. Patient comfort will be assessed using visual analog pain scales at different points of the experimental process. Our experimental protocol begins with a baseline urodynamic study, followed by Euromonitor deployment in the bladder and cystoscopy to confirm good placement. Pain will be assessed at each point in this process. Then a repeat experimental urodynamic study will be performed with the Euromonitor in place, both collecting data together. The patient will then be allowed to ambulate and cycle their bladder with only the Euromonitor in place. Finally, the Euromonitor is removed by pulling the string as a stent would be. A urine specimen is sent for testing and the patient is called two days thereafter for follow-up. Our interim results include findings from three patients. All patients were older and heavier. It took a mean of 48 seconds to insert the device and 2.5 seconds to remove it. Cystoscopy confirmed appropriate positioning in all patients, as you can see here. After Euromonitor insertion, average bladder capacity was reduced by 22%. If phasic DO was noted at baseline, it increased by 50% after device insertion. Euromonitor presence did not impede urinary flow, which was above 20 cc per second before and after insertion. Additionally, no new urodynamic findings were elicited after device placement. Speaking directly to our aims, the Euromonitor reliably reproduced vesicle pressure data patterns during both filling cystometry in ambulatory phases and during both non-voiding and voiding contractions. Here in figure A, the urodynamic data at the top tracing mirrors that of the urod monitor below it well. In figure B, the patient's volitional void with just the device in place is apparent with the sharp rise and fall of the pressure curve. The initiation of a voluntary void in these tracings is denoted by the arrow. There were also no post-procedure complications or adverse events to report. No baseline voiding changes were noted 48 hours after the procedure. Lastly, the device was well tolerated. Pain scores were very low and the device did not cause irritation during the ambulatory phase. To conclude, this is the first example of a wireless catheter-free bladder pressure data collection in humans. The Euromonitor enables bladder pressure data collection without impeding normal activity. It is able to identify relative um, bladder event, relevant bladder events that would be characterized on urodynamics. Finally, it is inserted and removed with ease and does not cause much patient discomfort.